Hi, and welcome to another video from MassiveVision.net, Cumulative Frequency Graphs. Cumulative frequency graphs enable us to estimate averages, specifically medians given a set of data. To begin with, we make a table, first starting with our data labels. For this example, we'll be using the heights of sunflowers planted in a small field. As you can see, our sunflowers grew from somewhere below 49cm all the way up to 150cm. So we've taken our data and divided it into 11 columns, dividing the heights into 9cm groups from those sunflowers less than 49cm to the tallest at less than 150cm. The next row below, we write our frequency. That is how many plant heights belong to each category of 9cm ranges. This has been done for us here. After that, we have our next row in which we total up the frequencies so far. So, starting with 11 as our first result, the next box will be the total of the previous box plus the frequency of that column. So, 11 from before plus the 13 above in the 50 to 59 range, which makes 24. And then we have 24 from before plus 18 above it, which is 42. Then 42 plus 22, which makes 64, and so on until our row is complete with our cumulative frequencies. Now before we can plot our graph, we need our upper class boundaries. The upper class boundary is the highest number each range can go to. So for our 0 to 49 range, the highest number it can reach is 49 centimeters. The next, 59, the next 69, and so on to our final 150 centimeter final category. Now we're ready to plot our graph. As you can see here, I've used the upper class boundaries as our x-axis, and the results from our cumulative frequency as the y-axis. The next step is to plot the results of each of our categories, beginning with our 0 to 49 count at 11, the 59s at 24, 69s at 42, and so on until we have all our frequencies plotted on the graph. From our marks, we can now draw a smooth curve through our points. Remember, it does not have to intersect each point, rather you should give a roughly accurate curve which will often take the form of a loose S sort of shape. From our line, we may be asked to find the median. The median, as we know, is the middle value of our dataset. To find this, we take our total cumulative frequency, in this example that's 306, and divide by 2 to get 153. We find 153 on our y-axis, and using a straight line, we find the point at which it intercepts the line, and draw a line from that straight down to our x-axis, giving us the value 96 centimeters. So we know our median value is 96 centimeters. Now we've found our median, we can also find out our quartiles. We have two quartiles, a lower quartile, which is a quarter of our total cumulative frequency, and an upper quartile, three quarters of our total cumulative frequency. If we know our total cumulative frequency is 306, then one quarter of that is 76.5. Likewise, if our lower quartile is 3 quarters of 306 total, 76.5 times 3 will give us our upper quartile of 229.5. Like we did with the median, we take our lower quartile on the y-axis and draw a line to meet the slope and find our x-axis result. So, from 76.5 we find out at the lower quartile it will be around 77 centimetres doing the same for our upper quartile of 229cm, we get our height of 115cm. Now we have our upper quartile and lower quartile values, we can work out our interquartile range. In other words, we can work out the range of heights in the middle 50% of our sunflowers. The equation is simple, we take our upper quartile of 115cm and take our lower quartile, so 77cm, and we get our result of 38 centimetres. This means that our middle 50% of sunflower heights are at the most 38 centimetres different in heights. Thanks for watching, and as ever, you can subscribe to our channel, Revision World TV, or for more maths help, go to mathsrevision.net.